Hello everyone and welcome back to Lifeline. Um, wow, looks exactly the same as last episode, huh? Alright, well let's get this cutscene on the way, so... Case 3. Case 3. Run. Okay, yes. Even running, you're slow. Why? It's not here! Someone's taken it already! We'll have to return to their city. We need to find Alan Honda. Huh? Operator, hold on a sec. This cord, what is this? This can't be! Listen, can you analyze this device? Yep. Speaking of, I think that Alan Honda guy drives a Toyota. Just what I've heard. Bomb. Yep. Can you check how to defuse it? Yep. Enter the sum of the last digits of okay. today's date. I found the right instructions to defuse it. Oh. Can you read them to me? Yeah. So Let's get through together. I have to read the yellow shit to her. What's the first one? Enter the sum of the last digits of today's date. Okay, yes. That's easy. Today is December 24th, 2029. So the last digit of each one would be 249. That's easy. Add them up and enter it. It's 15, so we are going to go 1 and 5, and an enter. Yes! That seems to have worked. How about you read the instructions for the next step? Enter the number of guests checked into the hotel. This is easy too. The answer is in Tanaka's note. It's 13. Okay, enter it. She's wrong, it's 50, but let's show Please her be she's wrong. With this. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's wrong, it's not 13. It's not the number of survivors, oh, it's the number of checked in guests. Check manager Tanaka's note carefully and enter that number. She almost fucked you. But yes, it is 50. <sighs> that was too close. Not really. Okay, what's the next step for defusing this? Enter the sum of the last digits of PM to Takiyama's birthday. What do we do? What do we do? Prime Minister Takayama. Of all It's things, 15. You, you're right. Didn't he... Didn't he say something about that at some point? Yep, it's on the video log in your back pocket. You get the option to select it after she gets done being an idiot. But it's 15 again. Enter the final number. Please be extra careful. Yep, see, you can check the video disc, but I don't need to. I'm just going to hit one and five. Here we go. Bombs are in the big metal things. Why is she freaking out over that? Would you like to take a break? <laughs> More than you know, Rio. More than you know. A break from you. Bad acting. Phew. This whole time, I've been trying to remember your face, but I can't. Not anymore.
I want you to know, I really am grateful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Better be grateful. <laughs> Useless on your own. Here we are, complete strangers, entrusting one another with our lives, and everyone on Earth oblivious to what's going on. And you know what's funny? I don't even know your name. <laughs> Just call me Thrash Module. We're not on a first name basis. If we get back to Earth safely, you think we could actually meet somewhere? Ugh. Like normal friends? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for being considerate. Anyway, you'll have Naomi back. I'm sure Naomi is safe somewhere. We'll find her. We've got to. What are you doing? Put that back! What are you doing? Why are you destroying the station? That's none of your concern. I knew there was something weird. You guys aren't a rescue team. Pipe down and hand that over. Holy mother of... That thing! Bitches. Those men, I knew it. Why don't you run that fast from They weren't oh. a rescue team. They're after the stone too. Oh god, the PM's group back to the receiving port. They're in danger. She's running! I'm gonna keep running. Chaser! Why do you have to say chaser? You're already chasing me. Is that shut it down on him? Shoot yellow. Yes. Yellow. The yellow light. Hide. Going away. Left soldier. Left. Red. The red left. Red. The red left. Red. The red left. Red. red. Yellow. The red left. Red. Yellow. The yellow lever. Red. The red lever. Yellow. yellow. Red. The red lever. Yellow. Yellow. 
Fuckers. Yellow. The yellow lever. Throwing it away. Right soldier. Yes. Red. The red lever. Red. The red lever. Red. Red. The red lever. Throwing it away. Yellow. What a pain in the ass! Okay. The PM's in danger. Let's hurry to the receiving port. If the shutter is closed, that creature can't get to me. I would bet on that. Where do you think you're going, Steve? Come on, hand over whatever you just took. No, it's not it. Rio, I'm disappointed with you. Gino, forget it. We have to run. Look, Rio, I will shoot you if I have to. That's not possible. The shutter's closed. What the hell is that? Damn it, what is this thing? Don't shoot! Let me go! Let it kill him. Help! Run! What should I do? Okay. Fuck him. Unfortunate incident. We set an explosive, but it seems that one of your people has diffused it. Oh, dear. what is that supposed to mean? Oh, I never gave you orders to blow up the station. Prime Minister, we don't take orders from you. What? Aren't you here to rescue us? Rescue you? How presumptuous. Who on earth told you that? We are soldiers for a new world order. Our sole purpose here is to obtain a relic with incredible power. Having accomplished our objective, we are now leaving. Alan, you're with these Paris as well? I... but... I... This being Christmas, my gift to you was a quick, painless death by one very impressive explosion. However, now I have no choice but to dispose of you by more... inelegant... Captain, you never said anything about killing anyone. Wait. Take me as your hostage! You monsters. You herded them here to kill them, not for rescue. Hey. <laughs> exactly. And you've conveniently returned to die as well. Hmm? I cursed you! Killed a great man! Curse you! <laughs> I'll finish her. All of you! Ah! I cursed you! Huh? Fuck, son. You are fucked, dude.
All right. That was creepy as fuck, so... Did you see what went on here? The people on Earth. The endless cycle of greed, envy, and war. This is a microcosm of it. Who am I? Um, okay. I'm a descendant of Paracelsus, the scientist from Alan's Disc. The story of Paracelsus and the Philosopher's Stone is more than just a legend. It's real. It's the stone that I've been trying to find. It's an heirloom that my family has guarded since Paracelsus' time. It began to influence my life when I was only a child. Dad began studying the Philosopher's Stone with a geologist he'd hired. The geologist's name was Joseph Kraft. Those two spent years researching the stone. And they eventually uncovered the secret nature of it. Physically, the Philosopher's Stone is pretty much your basic rock. But what's uncanny about it is the composition, completely uniform throughout. Whether stone or metal, it's impossible to manufacture solids of entirely uniform composition on Earth. Why, you ask? Because of gravity. The same night they concluded their analysis of the stone, Kraft shot my dad. He also shot me. I survived, but my mom and dad weren't so lucky. Kraft was trying to steal the Philosopher's Stone, but dad had it protected. Fearing for my safety, I fled to Japan. I just wanted to forget everything. the news. The Philosopher's Stone. It channels negative or positive emotion from spoken words. With the stone, you can heal or corrupt. At least according to research data taken by Joseph Kraft. From what I can tell, he used the stolen research to build a replica of the stone in the lab on this space station. I guess with all the chaos going on, he was planning to steal the real stone and blame it on the aliens. Even if that means killing everyone in the hotel to ensure their silence. But why does he want the stone so much? I don't get it. What was he gonna do with it? Turn people into hideous monsters? He would use the stone for that? <laughs> use the stone for that. I don't know. Oh, God, I'm just babbling now. Well, whatever happens, craft is finished. All we need to do is find Alan's stone and dispose of it. Actually, that can wait. I'm sorry I've been so caught up in the stone. I still have to get you out of there. And Naomi, too. Yes, of course, we have to get Naomi. But... Listen.
In spite of all our searching, we haven't found your girlfriend. You know what's happening, right? That alien, or is it some kind of mutated person that's chasing us? Could it be? Sorry. I'm sorry. What am I saying? There's still the testing ward left. That's it. She must be in the testing ward. The monitor room you're in, it's in the testing ward. She may have been right next to you this entire time. Naomi's safe. I'm sure of it. The three of us can leave this place together. I'll go get her now. I can get to the testing ward on that elevator. Wait for me. Now the bitch can quick travel, huh? Yeah, okay. There's only the testing ward left. There's no gravity, but I can use an air shooter for moving. No problem. Over here. Can you open this case? I can in a minute. Alright, folks. This is where we're going to end it. Um, if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great time. Goodbye.